and welcome to Tamara Fashion Style. My name is Tamara and today I'm here in this um, tutorial to show you how to sew this t-shirt dress. Now this is a quick and easy tutorial for you guys. So if you guys want to see how to make this dress, keep watching. But before we get into sewing this t-shirt dress, first of all I want to say, Subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog at tomorrowfashionstyle.web. My um, sewing course at tomorrowthinkfit.com. You can also find me on social media, Facebook, Pinterest, um, right here on my YouTube channel. And you can find me on Instagram. So as I said, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me comment, share my video, and subscribe to my channel. So, you want to see how to make this dress? Keep watching and let's get started. So the item you're going to need to sew this um, t-shirt dress. First of all, you're going to need three t-shirts. This is a pack of Fruit of the Loom t-shirt I have here. And all is white. As you guys can see, all is white. So this is the way you're going to need to sew the um, t-shirt dress. You're going to need a pair, some pins. You're going to need a scissors. You're going to need something to mark with. You're going to need... A ruler yes you're gonna need that so this is all the tools that you will need to sew this dress and also you're gonna need a sewing machine so let's get into sewing this dress so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna open this t-shirt gonna open this t-shirt now this is a new pack of t-shirt I have here new pack of t-shirt so we're gonna open that as you guys can see some new pack of t-shirt so this is a t-shirt this is um 14 to 16 is large so i need two of these t-shirt i'll be using because i don't need my dress too long so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna put lay out one of the t-shirt we're gonna lay one out like this lay it out like that we're gonna lay this out we have the next one here this one have we have a next one here let me see why they went in the pack right so we have this one here we're gonna lay this one here out like that and we're gonna take some measurement now the first thing you gotta think about is how long you want your dress it depends upon how long you want your dress so if you want your dress long you have to determine how long you want your dress now I need my dress from um, the shoulder here, I need my dress maybe about little um, like an inch or two inches above my knees. That's where I want my dress to be. So I'm going to measure down from the tip of the shoulder here to however long I want my um, top, the waist or the dress start from. So I have my measuring tape here, so you're going to need a measuring tape also. And I'm going to measure from the shoulder blade of the jersey here. And I'm going to measure down which part I want my waist start from. So my waist long, I want it to like be like 14, like 14 inches. I want the waist kind of a little more up than down. So I would measure 14 inches and I would put one inches for um for the seam allowance. So my the length from my um the shoulder of the jersey it would be 15 inches down so i'll do a 15 inches down 15 and i would connect that line so now i would connect all these line here i connect let me make sure it's 15 down because i find i'm getting a different measurement so you measure that Yes, we have it. So I would connect these line here. And I mark that. Now I'm going to cut this away. I'm going to cut this away. So my measure down, my cutting is 15 inches from the shoulder to the mark that I am cutting. So I cut that away and I'm going to rest this aside. Now rest this aside for a moment. Grab the um the other jersey. Remember I am using two jersey. Because I don't want my dress long. Now I will try to use up as much as, as this jersey as possible. 
so I have that just there and what I'm going to do I'm going to just measure down like let me see right under the arm like an inch like right under the arm here I'm going to just connect here from like a half inch from under the arm so I'm going to just take my ruler and I'm going to eyeball it so this is the arm the arm right here for the jewel see right here let me just mark it for you so you guys can see this is the arm so I cut him away from this arm here so I'm going to measure just eyeball it my arm and I'm going to cut away just under the arm right there I cut away under that arm there because I trying to use up as much as possible of the jersey all right so that's what I me so I'm going to cut that away so I cut in this away And now we have our dress here so this would be our dress here All right that would be our dress there when you put it together no we're gonna rest this aside just now because I need a piece of this arm jersey to fit in between the dress so I need this and this will be fitting in the bottom so we're using these three so we cut away the piece we're using the piece from the first one we cut away so you're gonna grab your first top which is this top here this is the jersey the top of the jersey we're gonna grab um this middle piece here and then we're gonna get the bottom and we're gonna fit it on like that so let's get pinning this so the first thing lay your jersey first of all we're gonna get this piece the reason why we cut away this piece is because we want our um, waist to start from the top here we could have cut it lower but no we don't want it to cut low because we need this part here so if you want you could put a shorter piece or you could have put the long piece if you want so I'm gonna take the longer piece and I'm gonna place it right here because I need more room in the width there so grab that and we're gonna face this we're gonna put this together like this put that together put one inside the other like this and you're gonna pin it it and pin that look for your two corners pin in this pin this keep pinning till you reach right away around you're gonna need some pins Continue pinning. Yeah. 
have a little um yada just pull stretch the um t-shirt it have enough stretch for that enough stretch so we're gonna repin it repin that you pin that and now you would have something like this have something like this so the just it won't come too long now what we're gonna do we're gonna grab the smaller piece that we had this is the smaller piece and we're gonna pin it to the bottom now we're pinning the raw edge to the raw edge of this bottom here because remember this bottom here already finished so we don't need to finish this bottom so we're gonna put pin the two cut edge to the arm um, together so we won't have to stitch the raw edge when we finish. This is a quick and easy uh, method of sewing a simple summer dress. It's a t-shirt dress. So you're going to pin that. So I use two t-shirts for this. Pin that. Pin. Keep pinning until you reach the other end. So now we finish pinning. So now we're gonna go to the um, sewing machine and we're gonna stitch all around this dress and all around here. So let's go to the so, so we will stitch right away wrong and then we'll come back. So let's go to the um, the sewing machine and let's stitch this dress together. So greet me at the sewing machine. Now we are at the sewing I'm at the sewing machine. So we're gonna get our um, dress. And we're gonna take one um one of the um part we pin and we're gonna stitch this dress five eight seam alone. So place it on the machine, rest it, press the foot down, and we're gonna stitch this. Now I'm going to a uh, zigzag stitch because it's a stretch. It's a stretch material, so I don't want my thread to break. So you stitch five eight seam allowance right away wrong you're doing that right away wrong you reach around the other side from where you started stitching five eight seam allowance
continue so Stitch when you need the other, the part that you, you started. Get your needle out. Clip your thread. Got the other piece with the pins. Place it under your sewing machine. And we're stitching 5 8 of an inch. See my low one. Same thing. Back step. Continue. Let's use a zigzag stitch for this or a straight stitch because it's a stretch material. The jersey is a t shirt. We need we use some t shirt for this, so the t shirt kind of stretchy. So you must use that um, stretch stitch for this or a zigzag stitch for the t shirt. In your back stitch, cut your thread and meet me back at the table. So, now that you finish um, stitching your t shirt, your pieces together, you're gonna have something like this. Now, we have some really um, thin edge here. So, if you want, you can let's cut away some of this, make the seam allowance. A little smaller, cutting away some. Cut away some of that seam allowance. your thread now I stitch this with a different um, color thread it's for you guys to see what um, I did so when you sewing stitching yours stitch it with the color thread to suit the, um, the material I just do it with that thread for you guys seeing as a tutorial I'm doing so you guys can see so what I'm trimming away here is this seam allowance I don't need all that seam allowance. that away now you're gonna go and give the t-shirt a good press clean up all your thread turn it over 
and go and give it a good press. Go and give it a good press, and here you have the dress. So now, I need something for tying my dress like this. So now we're going to make a band for this dress. So rest this aside. Remember we have this piece of t-shirt here. Remember we have this. So I need something for tie my shirt. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to cut this like this. I'm just eyeballing. Or if you want, you can measure. I need like a two inches um, piece. So let's say you just measure. Measure my ruler is two inches. So I measure in two inches wide. I need two inches wide and I need two of this or three of this. So I'm going to measure out two inches like that. And I'm going to cut. Put this aside. I need to open this. Open this up. And I'm going to cut the arm right here. like that get your scissors cut out this piece right here I'm going to pin pin that thing for the next so this time we ain't cutting all that we cutting right here in that just this one aside get the same one do the same thing that um the wider piece off the slimmer piece sorry off and you're left with this white piece so you're gonna come and pin make sure it even pin and cut this piece off and now we go into the sewing machine and we sew in one at this end we sew in one here straight down and 
You leave him this end open for Tony. You do the same thing one end straight down and leave one end open. So let's go to the sewing machine and stitch this. So you're gonna grab I'm the sewing machine. So you're gonna grab your belt and we're gonna stitch one end. You're gonna rest your sewing machine needle under and we're gonna stitch one end like half inch seam allowance because remember we have not seam allowance for this back stitch remember it's a zigzag stitch in the same still or a straight stitch turn put your needle down Continue sewing. Continue sewing. your back step and you do the other one just like that so you continue stitching the end a box stitch press this aside get the next one and we stitch in the next one just as that put your needle down half inch back stitch Now we will go back to the table. So after you finish sewing the two pieces together like this, remember we leave one end open. We're gonna trim this piece now, a little piece. Now you're gonna get a ruler. Now I turn me on my own. I turn it like this. I get a ruler. And I do it like this. This is a ruler, how I turn mine. And I insert it in between here. Like this, you gotta get like a grip. And I would insert it like that. And chew it through the opening end. So I chew it through here. And it becomes this, this nice edge. I do the same thing to this one. That one you want cutting. So I feed it through the open end with a ruler. Feed it through like that. Cut your thread. Feed it through. And 
now go give this a good press go and give it a good press you gotta press this so let's go and you press this so after you give your t-shirt a good press you give your t-shirt a good press you give your barn a good press now we're gonna get the t-shirt you're gonna lay your t-shirt down flat like this you're gonna get your barn like that you're gonna insert you're gonna turn the end in like this you get the end the raw end the open end turn it in like that which is it insert it like that we're gonna pin it now to get your drawer see turn it like this you see when you press it it have this nice crease so you get it make sure this is flat and nice the piece that you're turning gonna get that and you're gonna pin it right here at the edge here you're gonna pin it like this pin it facing the front pin it like that so when you pull it for tight it will be like that so this is the, uh, the calm pin it so get the next one look for the marking right here right under if you can't find the marking is right here under the sleeve edge where the stitching is so you gauge it gauge that see it might even have a crease so i would know where it is right here so i gonna get my bone again Turn that in. Make sure it neat. And I'm going to pin this right here. So I gauge in this line right here. So I'm going to pin this like this. Facing the dress front. Neat. and now we'll go to the sewing machine and we will stitch that down we will stitch that down so let's go and stitch that down so you open up your dress slip it under the um, presser foot raise your pressure foot up slip your dress under like that I remember it's just the band we stitching down. Slip your band under and you just give it a slight stitch like that. Back stitch and you stitch your next one just like that. So you get your dress, you open up your dress like this. Remember it's just the band we stitching. Slip your dress under your pressure foot like that. Look for the end where the bone is like that. I remember, make sure your dress is out of the way. I remember it's only the bone we saw in. So you look for your dress, slip it under. Make sure you the rest of your dress is to the left of me. Look for the bond. You turn it. You turn it. Slip it under the machine. Remove your pins. And now we're going to sew this in place. So you put your pressure foot down. Stitch, start to sew, stitch it, back stitch, back stitch, and you finish.
finish. So now that you finish sitting your bun, you're gonna cut the thread. Take it out back from the pressure foot. Raise your needle up. Take it out back. You cut your thread. And now meet me back at the table. So now, so now that you finish um, stitching up your dress, you trim your thread. This is the back, this is the front. This is what your dress look like. So you tie it. And you tie your dress together when you put it on. And you have a beautiful dress like that. So now that you finish doing your dress, go ahead, give it a good press, and you're all done. So I hope you enjoy. So guys, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. So go on, give your dress a press, put it on and if you saw any like this, please let me know. Leave me comment if you like this um, video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.